Hey guys, so I'm going to outline this drawing. It's a it's another drawing pair, so I do have another drawing to outline, but um, right now I'm going to do this one first, and then the next one is going to be the one for Bunny Lord, which is my boyfriend, if you're new to my channel. Um, the pairs usually go me and then my boyfriend. Um, so I'm going to start outlining and just begin with the hair. Sorry for this weird angle first, because it is kind of hard to draw this curve right here. Um, if you're new to my channel and you want, you can look on my other drawings. I have a lot of them. I make two separate drawing videos usually. The first one will be the outlining and then the second one will be the coloring so if you're interested in looking at those you can go see them or I also have different videos like hauls that I got of plushies and stuff so if you're new please go check those out so right now I'm just outlining the hair I want to try this nice um, ice cream place. It's called Eva's, I forgot, Eva's Ice Cream or something. Um, it just recently opened in Square One. They have, um, they have, so it's a mixture of three companies, I believe, because they, it's basically a candy store, which I think is owned by one company. And then they also have a, um, a Japanese cheese tart cheesecake company, which is also a different company. I tried it before, so, but I got it from a different mall that's kind of far from our house. So um, there's that one. And then it's also mixed with Eva's ice cream, um, which is basically a really gourmet ice cream. Um, it's pretty expensive, so I do, but I do recommend like if you want, you should try it at least once, like it may be a one-time deal thing, um, but it is pretty expensive. The ice cream costs around six, seven to eight dollars, and then with tax, I would round it to around maybe nine, ten-ish dollars, so it's around the ten dollar range, which is really expensive for an ice cream, but I will say you, if you guys are into, like, nice gourmet cones, then go check it out. Um, they actually, so their cones are the fried, they're like fried donut cones, which are made of, like, actual dough and then they curl it up and you can see the process of them making it like how they cook it and they put this they put it on this rolling thing that ro that just keeps rolling it around so that way it gets um so that way it gets cooked evenly which is pretty neat to see and the cones taste really good um but it is quite pricey for ice cream um it's, I guess I would, because I had it with Bunny Lord, I would count it as date food, like a cute little date food that you could have. But if you don't really like getting, like eating really messy stuff in front of, like, say for example, your partner, you might not want to have it as a date food just because it does tend to get really messy because ours some people their sauce wasn't runny like i saw people with like the matcha um ice cream the matcha flavor and it the sauce wasn't runny on top but we had salted caramel on our apple crumble um ice cream and the salted caramel was super runny when the person gave it to us she actually just handed it to us and it was super messy like everything was going everywhere so we had to grab from the napkin dispenser a whole bunch of napkins which is kind of not that good if you don't want your hands to get sticky when you're eating 
um, or walking around, you might not enjoy it that much, but it does taste really good. It's just really pricey and messy at times, so I guess it also depends on the flavor. Like, we got the apple crumble one, I'm not sure, because I saw, like, people ordered the matcha, and the sauce wasn't runny on top, so I guess it depends on how they poured the sauce on. So, just a little thing, I kind of recommend you go, like, you guys to go at least try it once. It's called Eva's Ice Cream, I believe. So, yeah. I believe it's called Eva's Ice Cream, yeah. Um, so, now I'm just outlining the, this sweater dress. This is an, like... I came up with this dress for this drawing. It's just an actual, like, sweater dress. So... I kind of wanted it to be, like, flowy, like a regular dress. Have the nice flow. Um, I wanted to, it to be different from, you know, those regular sweater dresses that you see, like those winter ones. Um... I really want it to be like the regular hoodie style, so I tried my best to make it that way. I really like how this dress turned out because it's plain and simple, yet it looks cute. It was kind of hard to get the folds of like, because I wanted the legs to bend inside the dress, but it was kind of hard to get the folds proper. So I tried to kind of show the legs bending in the dress, like you can see the knee area, but not really showing it too much. And now I'm doing the, and now I'm outlining the arms. In the hands. I didn't really know what pose to go for this one, to be honest. Um, I kind of just randomly made a pose and went with it. I think this pose is kind of like, it's kind of like a bowing type of pose, I guess. I don't know. I usually don't like to put the hands on the stomach like that just because, um, Normally, if I do that, I would try to make it look like more of a bowing type of fancy pose, I guess. So. Um, but I usually don't put hands on the stomach like that just because, um, when I was trying to do that for some drawings in the past, I noticed it kind of looked like the person had an upset stomach. <laughs> So, I'm happy that this pose didn't turn out like that. It looks pretty cute. Just gonna go over this again. Doesn't look thick enough. Okay, and now I'm going to outline the ears, the cat ears. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I always put cat ears on myself, so, yeah, that's on, like, every drawing of myself, so, there they are. Okay, and I'm gonna outline the eyes. 
the face. So I'm going to start with the eyes. So that's one eye, and I'm outlining the eyebrow, and the other eye, because the face is tilted sideways, I kind of tried to make the eye that I'm outlining right now, I tried to make it like smaller because it is more off to the side it was kind of difficult to do that though just because just because I felt like how do you make the eyes even when they're there so I had to kind of look at that and now I'm going to outline the tail which is the last thing that needs to be outlined For this drawing, I think I made the tail pretty long compared to the other drawings. I don't think I normally make it this long. So, I kind of made the length of the tail a bit too long, but it's fine since anyways, I usually make the tails pretty long for the length, so it doesn't really bother me. Okay, finished. Here is the overview of the drawing. It turned out pretty good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and my next video will be um, the one I made for Bunny Lord, so I made a pair for this drawing too, and I will be outlining that one next, and then I'll do coloring videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like, please like, and if you want, you can subscribe. Bye!